Let's take a look at another example. Example, question says, evaluate the following. Here you have the double integral of y times sine x times y dA over region R. R is rectangle one, two, Cartesian product zero to pi. Very good. So we're going to try to calculate this double integral over the region. We know that we have two options. Let's try to see which one is easier to apply. Let us try to calculate this double integral y sine xy with respect to x first, then with respect to y. Let me use a different color so you see what I'll be doing here. X ranges between one and two, and y ranges between zero and pi. Very good. So, we call that the inner integral you can use since you're taking the, uh, integral with respect to x, you can use substitution. If u is equal to xy, du is equal to y dx. With respect to x, your y is just a constant, am I right? So it's similar to saying that, hey, u is equal to kx. So du is k dx, it's just a constant, where u is equal to yx and du is equal to y dx. They're the same thing, using substitution for the inner integral. So this guy becomes integral zero to pi. And here you have the integral of sine u du and then dy. Very well. The integral of sine, as you remember, is negative cosine. The integral of sine u du is negative cosine u. That's the constant of integration, but we are not worried about that because we want to find the definite integral. So this guy becomes integral 0 to pi. Let's put the negative sign outside minus cosine u, which is just xy, and our x is bounded between one and two. And you're taking the integral with respect to y. Okay, let's plug in x and then see what do we have. Here we get negative zero to pi. So here you have the cosine of two y minus cosine of y and then D y. So now we are taking the integral of cosine. For the integral of cosine u, du is just sine u plus the constant of integration. So this guy becomes. Let's put the minus sign here. It doesn't matter. You could just distribute this negative sign into parentheses, or you can just leave it outside and distribute that. It doesn't matter. Here you get a half sine 2y and minus sine y. And now my y ranges between 0 to pi. You can remember that when you have the integral of cosine 2x dx, this is a half sine 2x plus c. Going back to elementary calculus, these are all just reviews. 
if u is equal to 2x, du is 2dx, or dx can be replaced by du divided by 2. There we go. So this guy becomes negative. You have a half sine 2 pi minus sine k pi. Just substitute this here. Minus, here you have a half sine 0 minus sine 0. OK, as you can see, you have just 0 and 0. And the outcome is equal to 0. So this double integral is equal to 0. <laughs>